Welcome to the Sub Pump Workflow video series. This video will explain how you can use Sub Pump's Auto Select tool to automatically select the best equipment for an ESP installation using industry standard criteria. One of the most difficult aspects of ESP design is choosing the actual equipment to be installed. Often, a vendor will have several sets of pumps and motors that are all valid selections for a well, but choosing the best equipment for that particular well can be difficult. This is where Sub Pump's Auto Select tool comes in. To show you how to use the Auto Select tool, we'll go ahead and open up one of the example files that comes with Sub Pump. Navigate to the directory where Sub Pump was installed, open the Examples folder, and then double click on Design Auto Select to open it. First, we'll go ahead and select the rigorous design mode. After selecting the design mode, we then come to the wellbore screen. We enter our casing and tubing profiles, select a wellbore correlation, and then go to the Directional Survey tab. We can then copy and paste a directional survey from another program, such as Excel. After entering a directional survey, we click Next and come to the Flow Line screen. Sub Pump has the ability to model the pressure loss in the flow line between the wellhead and separator, but this is often skipped and dealt with later in the design process. Clicking Next takes us to the Fluid Properties dialog. We enter our fluid gravity and ratios, and then select the PVT correlations used to calculate other properties. If we have PVT lab data or viscosity calibration data, we can enter it through the tabs above to increase the accuracy in our calculated fluid properties. Click Next, and we come to the Inflow screen. In this example, we will use the Vogel method to establish the reservoir deliverability. After entering the required data, we can click Calculate to generate a preview graph of the reservoir deliverability. Hit Next again, and we are now on the Pressure Rate screen. As is typical for a sub-pump case, we know the pump setting depth and the total liquid rate, and would like to solve for pump intake conditions. Next, we come to the Equipment Select screen. From here, you can manually select equipment using the drop-down menus, or you can click on Auto Select Equipment. This button takes you to the Auto Select Equipment screen, where we find one of the handiest features in Sub Pump. Using the Auto Select tool, we can have Sub Pump select the best equipment based on one of three design criteria. BEP closest to liquid rate at intake conditions means that Sub Pump will scan its database for a pump whose highest efficiency point is as close to pump intake conditions as possible. This ensures a very efficient design that should work well under a wide range of scenarios. BEP closest to design liquid rate is similar, but rather than selecting a pump based on intake conditions, it looks for a pump whose highest efficiency point is near the design conditions specified on the pressure rate screen. This is still effective, but it is generally better to allow Sub Pump to select equipment based on actual intake conditions. Our last option is to pick the pump with the highest overall efficiency that will fit in the well. This is often not a good match to actual pump intake conditions, but may give us a wider range of scenarios the design is valid for. After selecting the criteria to be used, we then click on a manufacturer to have Sub Pump recommend equipment to us. After selecting a pump, motor, and cable, we click OK. Sub Pump then displays the selected equipment, giving us one last chance to change anything before we move on to sensitivity analysis. We'd like to have Sub Pump compare the best pumps from several different manufacturers, so I've gone ahead and used the Auto Select tool to set up this sensitivity analysis. If we go to the Compare Equipment tab, you can see the pumps and motors Sub Pump has selected from each manufacturer. While Sub Pump has a wide variety of graphing and reporting options, we will once again go to the summary report for a quick comparison of our selected pumps. All of them produce right around 600 barrels per day, although the Weatherford and WSP pumps do so with higher efficiency and a lower number of stages. The Weatherford has a slightly higher efficiency, although the WSP has a lower horsepower requirement, leaving the final decision to the economics. This video briefly demonstrated how you can use Sub Pump to quickly select and compare the best ESP system from several manufacturers. To see workflows of how SubPump can help you solve other common production optimization problems, watch the rest of the video series.